Okay, time to actually get off my lazy ass and make something. Hello, fellow Minds users, I'm Chemo Prophet, and today we're going to wade right into the bullshit with High School Student Threatened for Using an Anti Feminist Hashtag. Note High School, not University. Just goes to show how fucking pervasive this is becoming. Kirby Martin, a high school junior from Cyprus, Texas, had been working on a school essay about several myths pushed by feminists about gender inequality, specifically focusing on how third-wave feminism only divides people. Good for her! It's comforting to know that the new generation is not buying into the corrosive, politically correct narrative. In fact, there appears to be more here about the new Gen Z generation. I've read about this on KIA before, and I think it's really encouraging. But moreover, it is simply a natural consequence of growing up under a period of such pervasive censorship. Political correctness is far from new. The term actually dates back to 1793, where it was coined in a Supreme Court battle, although I'm getting this information from Wikipedia, so I'm taking this with a pinch of salt. But in the current context, the idea of intentionally restricting speech to avoid hurting people's sensibilities has been going on for decades. The Rotherham child sex abuse cover-up, for instance, took place from 1999 onwards, so we can infer, therefore, that political correctness was ingrained enough to significantly affect people's behaviour since the mid to late 90s. That would mean Gen Zers have grown up under political correctness. And what has it generated? A generation of open-minded, questioning, tolerant people who aren't afraid to play jokes at the expense of the bigoted and ideologically driven. And this attitude is manifested during Gamergate and, well, here. Political correctness has sown the seeds of its own destruction, and I think the progressive left know it, which is probably why a large part of why the mainstream media is trying to persistently undermine the new media, like political commentators on YouTube, etc. By the way, if you come across a YouTube channel called Chemo Profit, yes, that's me. I'll still upload my videos there, but I'll try to focus more on Minds.com because it's just way safer to express political opinions here without risking DMCA's, censorship, demonetization, if I ever become successful enough to monetize my shit. It's not going to happen, is it? So yeah, please do subscribe to that. I already have a couple of videos criticizing the creationist preacher Kent Hovind, which I'm not going to continue because creationism is, well dead now, but it's still entertaining as fuck to pick apart the arguments of these people, and as someone who actually studies geology, I find some of their claims infuriating, so I may decide to resume beating that dead horse at some time in the future, but I really don't see the point, and you can follow me on Twitter too, that's fine. Moving on. So she tweeted out a picture of herself in an anti-feminist shirt that read, hashtag Meninist, to prove that third wave feminists were only tolerant towards liberals. Within hours, she was proven right. She tweeted out the picture of the shirt on Wednesday. Because hashtag Meninism is greater than victim culture. At Meninist tweet. Within minutes she received more than 200 negative responses. Martin told Red, Poli Red Alert Politics that, Reb that liberals started threatening to egg her car, wishing she'd learn her lesson by getting raped or telling her to die. I mean, Jesus fuck, what a disproportionate response! That's behaviour I'd expect to be levelled against, like, a paedophile, a corrupt politician or something, but this? Pelting eggs at people and telling them they deserve to be raped and murdered because they wore a shirt? Well, the joke is of course on them because they've just beautifully proved her point about liberals not being tolerant. Well played, milady. And here's a text exchange she had and some of the tweets. Terrible of me to say, but I feel like if you or someone close to you got raped and was accused of lying, abd it, is the only way you'd learn, hashtag Pendija. I like how they preemptively apologise before telling someone how they deserve to be raped. How fucking nice of you. Like, are they implying here that women are accused of lying when they come to the authorities to report rape? Because you know that's complete horseshit, right? Imagine supporting male supremacy just for men to notice you. I mean, fuck, the condescending attitude of these people. Is it just me or are feminists just obsessed with playing armchair psychology whenever someone goes whenever someone goes against their narrative? Apparently so, because here it is again. If I ever become this desperate for attention from ugly tween boys, please just put me down. Because nothing is wrong with feminism. She must be doing this to get the attention of the ugly tween boys, right? Do I detect just a hint of jealousy here? I mean, I don't want to play armchair psychologist myself, but with the ugly tween boys and everything, methinks thou doth protest too much, Zocky Plus. I hope you choke and fall down a flight of stairs. Double kisses for some reason. Way to be a tolerant feminist. I'm not a feminist or tolerant. Go die ho. 
Well, if you aren't a feminist, then why the outrage? Maybe this guy's a troll. I don't know. Martin told Red Alert Politics that she hasn't been phased by the negative comments and threats, saying, You can't get these people out of this mindset. And she's right. This is a cult, and I think they are utterly convinced that their pseudo-academic Marxist nonsense about male supremacy, patriarchy, and whatnot. They're probably driven by some underlying motivations like jealousy, attention, self-interest, whatever. But so is everyone who joins an ideology. And I think this series of tweets just beautifully shows that. A bunch of losers who are just projecting their own jealousy. She knows something about how social justice warriors think. Martin confessed that she was one until six months ago when she started doing her own research. On Friday, she offered a response to the t-shirt and all the negative criticism on Twitter. I am not oppressed in society as a woman, and neither are you. Unless you allow yourself to think that. Victims exist, yes, of real issues like rape, racism, abuse, and other horrible acts, Martin said in the tweet. Not because of the things third wave feminists claim. Meninism is a joke and not a movement. My meninist shirt was a satirical hit at third wave feminism in America, and its ineffective methods for solving social issues that are inaccurate and counterproductive. I'm not anti-female or anti-female rights. I'm against the movement that has shifted their focus from actual equality to complaining and social justice action. Couldn't have said it better myself. She told Red Alert Politics that despite the threats, she still plans on continuing her efforts to inform her generation about the myths of third wave feminism. I'm trying to make a difference and bring facts and truth to my generation, and social media and our schools are no longer a true place for free speech and political incorrectness, Martin said. It's still just the beginning, and I ha still have to write my essay, and I plan to continue this as far as I can to show how messed up the tolerant left really is. I feel you. I mean... I'm the tail end of Millennial leading into Gen Z, and I've got to admit, I do feel like my generation sucks, so good for you. Keep up the good work, and um, I will try to make more videos as often as I can. I won't set myself any limits for now, but editing takes a fucking billion years, so expect a lot of the more off-the-cuff off responses like this, and uh, hopefully I'll make some edited videos. I have a few ideas, so yeah, like this, share this, however it works on Minds.com, and I hope to speak to some of you soon.